Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about two main parameters in foundation design and slab on grounds that are bearing pressure or QA and modulus of subgrade or subgrade modulus or KS. So based on definition, one is pressure type and the other one is stiffness type. For QA or bearing pressure, we're going to apply the load that's always service load and service load means that the in general on factored load it is just like d plus l dead load plus live load or any other type of load you may have applied on the area of the pad in contact with the soil and we have the applied pressure on the soil soil has some capacity and if the applied pressure on the soil is Beyond the soil capacity, we may have soil failure or soil rupture, and we need to change the pad size to reduce, change the pad size or decrease the load to stay on the safe side. QA is pressure type, and that's always in just unit is kPa, kilonewton per meter, newton on squared meter, squared millimeter, and we can use any units for to interpret that QA. On the other side, we have a stiffness for KS, a stiffness factor, or we say subgrade modulus. That is resultant from applied P, applied load on the pad that produce sub settlement delta H in the soil. To find this delta KS, we put P over delta H, it gives the reaction of the springs, soil as a spring. So it is just spring stiffness resultant from applied load due to settlement of the soil. So KS is the stiffness of the strings and we always, in general, we, we use vertical springs, but we may have some horizontal springs in some cases and that it is just depends on the soil type and also geotechnical engineering advices you may have just some horizontal springs stiffnesses as well to resist the sliding of the foundation but in general we have we need vertical one so the critical part or just the confusing part in general, some software is using QA, some software is using KS. And the other problem is that most of the investigations by geotechnical engineers give this parameter, QA, bearing pressure, allowable bearing pressure of the soil, and it is very rare to display what is the subgrade modulus. So the question is that, is there any relationship between these two? If we have one and want to calculate the other one. Referring to bowels, KS is 40 times of QA. It means that subgrade modulus in SI system is 40 times of bearing pressure of the soil. So if you, if you have QA, easily you can calculate KS or on the other hand, if you have KS, you can calculate QA to use in the softwares. So the last point, QA is pressure, kilonewton on square meter or KPA. And subgrade modulus is kilonewton on cubic meter or kilonewton on square meter on every meter. It is a spring stiffness. Comparing to KA, both are in vertical, but as I said, yeah, we may have just some horizontal ones in some projects that is advised by geotechnical engineers. It's always fraction of this vertical KS. Hope this one is helpful for this critical point in foundation design and slab on ground design. And please comment any feedback for design and if you have any concerns or any idea, please share. See you later.